Yes, Mr. Dennison, um, back here, a security installer. Yes, um, I was interrupted. Um, my recording device, the battery, went. But I was in, ex explaining um, about a DSC Neo panel and what the system does. Um, you know, as you know, a security system is used, an electronic security system is used in conjunction with other security means to enhance enhance the security um, or the reliability of security on the premises. Now, I was discussing about this panel here, and I will show you again. You know, it has a keypad, it has various peripherals connected to it. All of which I will not be getting into. As I have said before, there is a manual. Um, the panel, in order to program the panel, you will go to star 8. That's the programming mode. The programming code by default is 5555. Some basic programming you would do, you go to star, you go to 001. Um, that is zone definition. You would define each zone what it is supposed to do. Um, this is basic program. We're not going to talk, we're not going to be touching on partitions um, and, and those stuff right now. You can go to zone labeling zero zero zero. Um, that basically enables you to define right on the keypad. As you can see, it's an alphanumeric keypad, and it is saying telling you open zones, front perimeter, car park perimeter, tamper panel. So you can label each zone to be what you want it to be. Um, it has, as I said, zone definition. You have instant zones. You have Tampa zones, 24 hour smoke. These panels allow you to do a wide range of stuff basically. You can turn this panel into a smoke smoke system with the use of four wire smoke detectors. Um, as I said, all of this information is widely available on the internet. It is not anything that um, one should be afraid of. As um, when I was young within this industry, you know, a lot of persons hid information, but with the advent of the internet, and with the advent of um, having the ability to download manuals, sit and read, you, all you need to have is an understanding of electrical, electrical background or electronics background. You know, you need to know about the direct current versus alternate current. You need to know um, basic stuff like resistors, um, you know, voltage. What we, you know, most of these stuff is 12 volts. It's a 12 volt system or 24 volt system. So it's not, we are not using any form of high current uh, within these security systems. So it is not, it is not as hard as it looks. Um, you basically follow the instructions that are given. And once you understand what a series circuit is, how it functions, what a parallel circuit is, then you will know that you will, you, how you would use these circuits. For example, which were, I was showing you those photo beams on the outside. And this property is pretty big. We would, I would say this property is about an acre and a half or a little bit less. So we had to use four, let us see, one, two, five pairs of beam. Because we cover, we basically cover more to the rear of the property. The property is facing the sea. Um, some of these devices, especially the, trans, the, the, the receivers, as you see on the post out here, we did them back to back where we parallel the voltage so the voltage that is going to one we use it to power the other device also we series the device so one wire comes right back to the panel but the device we splice into the other the other cable the other wire signal wire in order to allow both devices to be on that same circuit so if you interrupt one device the circuit is open just once you understand what a series circuit is you will understand and i will be using a device i'll be wiring a device when i get a chance i'll next video to show you what a series circuit looks like now the panel allows us to to to, to wire to series connections uh, for zones in smoke it's like smoke systems you would not do a series circuit you would do a parallel circuit given that it's a fire system and you would like to know that when a device um, goes off you can determine which air sorry which area and such like now 
there's not much within this box that I can show apart from the keypad, the different sections, um, which I'm going to go to. You go to with the Neo, it's a little bit easier to use. I'm going to go back to programming. Star 8. Let me put a little light inside this guard room here. And you can see it's a backlit keypad. It gives you the option to turn off the backlight. And you go to 55555. You're going to thing. You can press the, the pound key there to clear. You know? Just know that if you press the pound key too much, it carries you back out of programming. When, you, when you're in programming, you have this light lit, lit here, like this arm light, the red arm light. So we can go to 000, zero, zero, zero right? It says language, right? English, 001. Because, you know, we are, we are living in English speaking. It could be Spanish. We don't want Spanish. So it's English. Um, zone labeling is 001, as I was saying. So let us go back. Let us go back out for a section. Star 85555. Um, zero, zero. Language, we could say we want to do English. Press star, we go to English. We got English is selected. Press number sign to carry back out. And you can use these two scroll keys to scroll along. So you go to zone labeling, that is 001. You press star. That is zone 1. You press star again. And the inside here, you can make your labeling. Note, this is pretty much like old school texting. So the number one key would be A, B, C. The number two key would be D, E, F. The number three key would be G, H, I, and so forth. Pretty much like your cell phone texting. So you would have to do that. Then you would have the zero key, which would basically be space. It also is used to um, delete. Okay, let us come out of that. Let us come out of that. So you have zone labeling. So let me go back into this zone labeling. You have 051 Tampa zone, that, that was what was selected. Zone 52 um, zone fault. Um, you have a fire alarm 056. You go into this, you know, you can. Hold on just a moment. No, I'm going to show you some other zone numbers that we normally use for basic programming. You can say star 8, 5, 5, 5, 5. I'll just see if it go too much and it jumps out. 005, system time. These are the areas that you put in system time. So you go to, we have bell cut off. Um, by default, I see that 4 minutes. 4 minutes. You have bell delay. We don't really use these. Um, we don't really use this for zone loop response time this deals with some zones that are so far away that um the panel takes a while to recognize you can actually turn this up and um it basically allows the panel to have those zones as fast response zones exit um you have partition and partition to another thing i should allow should say should have said these systems allow you to have eight up to eight partitions what, what I mean by a partition is like having eight security systems. So what would happen is that I could program one partition and then I could go to another partition, partition number two, and program a different set of zones. So I could program zone one to eight, the hardware zone here as zone partition one, and I could program from nine to 16 as being wireless and a partition two. So it would be system one, system two. So it's like having two security systems. What I could do now, and partition two, when I finish program, I could add a different keypad around, say around, down at the table there, so they would have their own security system programming. Star eight, I like to jump out, five, 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 zero, one, three. This goes, this is what I was speaking about, about the various ways you can um, set up your zones all right in this section we have normally closed loops and i have it as yes we are not using any resistor on this panel being that it was a a work that was required to be done very quickly and based on my assessment of the job at a later date we will be adding those um adding in the resistors now as it stands what does this mean 
normally closed loop. As anyone know who does electronics, know that a loop or a, or a circuit, it's normally closed. Right? Would mean that the circuit is always closed until it is violated, then it becomes open. It is saying yes that is what the panel wants you want a circuit that is normally open that that is normally closed sorry normally closed that is when it is violated it becomes open cool now the resistor that i spoke about this resistor that i spoke about here if i would have said and i could press no it would mean that i would have enabled um end of line resistor usage but because i'm using not using a resistor i says yes now you you can scroll through and you will see we have double end of line resistors i don't fool around that much um here in jamaica we don't really use much of this these systems double end of line people i mean we don't really use it but it's a feature that you that could be used We have zero, one, four, bell squawk. This is, not, this is left off. And the other system that I did by the next location, we can turn this on. Basically, this allows the bell to squawk each time you arm or disarm it. We have auto arm squawk, which if the system is auto armed, our program to automatically arm itself like every five o'clock, this would come on. We have exit squawk, which is when we are entry exit system. So exiting the system, entry squawk. So you have exit squawk, entry and en exit meaning leaving when you're arming and leaving the building. Entry means entering the building. You get a squawk, trouble squawk, and so forth. We don't use these. These are not really used. We have. 015 as I went into that already I did that um, 16 going to 16 AC trouble we normally turn these on as yes in case the power is off you would see a flashing light it would tell that there's a trouble you would and I will show you how to go to trouble to the trouble condition AC TLB flashes they should be yes um, blank keypad blank no we're not doing that keypad black blank we're not doing any of that backlight for the keypad yes power save no we don't really use much of those so we press again we go to 17 option these are all toggle options chime is turned on each time the door if there was a door here it would it would go off chime and close rf jam audible um i think i'll turn that on that is if you have a RF jam, seeing that the system comes with key fobs that you can use as panic buttons. Um, let us come out of this. Let us go to 18. Test TX. Um, this I don't use much of that. I don't use much of these. Now another thing about this panel is that it allows you, it has programmable outputs that switch to ground. PGM 1 to 4. Alright. Uh, this panel here I see it has two I'm looking to see if it has this panel here carries two PGM what that mean is that you can connect a relay to this device and you can trigger you can trigger say a radio at um, one of those RF radios so what if you have this transmitter but you want a backup another backup um, device in the event that the internet goes down you need another backup device you can connect a transmitter TX on this and it would once the central station have the capability to receive RF frequency or RR radio frequencies um, as they are secondary then that could be used now I'm gonna go back into star 8 there's something else that I need to show 005 system times here a partition and partition 2 right I will go to System area, bell cut off. Zone low response. Um, 
and other stuff installer code 006 this is where you can change your installer code you know you can go to star installer code one as you can see 5555 in the system you can change it if you want to right installer code one master code is two as you can see the master code is there you can change the master code if you want to maintenance code that's basically some A's guard code some A's again um, basically that's it star 8 555 this is where the PGM bell output PGM 1 PGM 2 and so forth we are also to know PG partition one is on P PGM one is on partition one, meaning that this output is programmed to use. As I said about the partitions before, it is programmed to be used on partition number one. It's always yes by default. PGM two is programmed to use on partition one. PGM three is not programmed to be used on it right because as I said it has two onboard PGMs if we were to use more PGMs we have up there is a board pretty much like a module like this that you can use some of them come with zones on it with PGMs and you can use it to to trigger things so basically what the PGM is as I said it switch to ground you can turn on a relay that can turn on a light outside it can be used to reset smoke detectors it can be used to do a whole whatever you want to turn off or turn on the PGM you can program it to do that so if this system is wired as say a fire system and you want the PGM to trigger say some strobe lights or whatever it is the system could be used um, going back to star 85555 um, 018 system option no, we don't need. We don't want that. No, we don't really use much of that. I want to show you something else. The panel has the ability. You have to program basically everything into this system for it to work as how you would like. Star eight five 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 eight zero four. This is wireless programming. In here, you can program wireless devices. So you would press star when you go there, and on the button, whether the motion or any other device you will squeeze the button that the manual those devices normally come with a manual and it tells you which button you should squeeze once you squeeze it would confirm it would give you a serial number you would read off the serial number from the back and then you would press start to confirm that that device is indeed what what is said you have in as i said the system goes from into in goes by section number so we have section numbers and subsections so we have 9999 this is the default modules or default the panel show all devices you could do that right sorry show all devices you have an option replace keypad replace repeater replace siren replace this is wireless switch keys replace device and delete keypads, delete repeaters, delete sirens, delete wireless keys, delete zones, motion camera inside. This system allows you, and this is a beautiful of this new system with this new technology. Some motions carry now carry a camera that allows you to have video confirmation. So if a zone went off in a house, for argument's sake, and it was a cat or something that did it, the response team would not need to be dispatched immediately in order to verify there would be a video verification once the central monitoring station the king alarm or Hawkeye the persons who are monitoring these alarms in the field once they get an alert on sims or whatsoever software they are using they would have a PC a computer with a software on it that they can see all the, all the dearest locations that they, they currently have as clients they would also have on their desk central station receiver it can be cloud based receivers where a company can pay another company to have their system monitor and then they would they would get a feed 
and they would charge the client a fee if they don't have the money to set up their own central station. It, it is varied based on technology. These, these panels allow you now to, to have motion cameras. So if something happens that is in 841, you can go there. 841, and you have visual verification. Enable, I just enable it, right? And you have enabled 01, disabled, enabled, as you can see, right? Video verification. So let me go back and just, I see it says enabled. This is video verification. Wireless options. RF, right? Delinquency. It, 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 this system carries a whole what I would advise anyone to do that wants to know all the various options of this system is to just go to DSC register download a manual or if you have a friend who have a manual I will also make manuals available on my YouTube channel so you can read I more than likely I will try and my best to see if I can mark the sections that are most important to do your basic programming as I myself I do not practice to store all that knowledge up in my head seeing that I have so much in this world this rough world to deal with but as you can see audible programming it allows you to have two-way audio back and forth this panel allows you to put on an output device a mic or something on it so you can basically talk to a intruder tell him that look you don't want to have to pursue the matter any further it, it has a whole lot of stuff and as I said I will be going through some of these uh, more than likely you won't see this panel again uh, as this as a work site but I can go through the manual and I will show you the manual um, show the sections explain what the sections are and allow you to basically have a greater appreciation of the security system so as I said um, 04 and you can go there the, the key pad the key the key fobs are the buttons I was speaking about you can go to um, 804 oh, we are in 804 you go to star you can go to 601 and it, it comes to partition assign so even the buttons you should assign to a partition which is partition one by default on the panel you have buttons now each button you can turn them 